I was doing a little bit of math about all the characters that have released in Dokkan, using the JP timeline, of course, and I found something pretty interesting, and I'm going to express how I feel about it, and I want you to let me know how you personally feel about it. I'll also mention that before the end of next year, we will be hitting 100k subscribers, so the question is whether you want to join the family now or later. Regardless, I appreciate you being here, um, and uh, it's just, you know, an honor for you to spend some of your time with uh, my video. So thank you so much. Let's move into the video. So I, I posted this a few days ago just to share something I found. It says proof that Goku units were fed this year up until and including the release of the LR Super Saiyan trio. So I'm not counting Super Saiyan 3 Goku um, from the Hyrule Garden and, you know, I guess, you know, special or whatever. Uh, there has been 60 new unit releases this year. And this is not counting uh, EZAs or Awakenings of old SRs or whatever the case is. It's just completely like new characters that did not exist in the game before. And I just went through January, February, March, April, May. Um, all the way until the release of the other Super Saiyan Trio. And I counted 60 total completely new characters. Out of those 60, 12 units have Goku included in their name, which means that he has made up for a total of 20% of all new releases this year. Do you find that to be a problem with the fact that there are so many characters in Dragon Ball? Or do you think that's completely normal? Like, that's what Dokkan needs to do in order to, I guess... I don't want to say survive, but I think Dokkan is so big of a game that they can release the best TUR, or like the best unit in the game, you know, Tien and Chaozu, and that character will still hit top grossing, especially if they do that character extremely well. Or maybe if the, like, it's just, I think 20% is so much when in reality there's hundreds of characters in Dragon Ball. I get that it's Goku. Eh? It's, it, Dragon Ball is the Goku show. Like, I, I perfectly understand that. If the number was 10%, okay, right? Um, but I feel like a whole, like, tw like, a whole fifth of the characters was just Goku, Goku, Goku. And just to prove that to you really quickly, um, January had the LRGT uh, duo, the Z duo, and of course the free to play uh, in Goku. This is all anniversary content. February, the next month, Carnival Kai Goku. March the next month, we had the God Goku Saiyan Day character. The month after that, so January, February, March, April, you know, just four months in a row, we had the free-to-play Coat Goku. Like, I can just show this to you, right? Let's go to April. We had this Goku right here, as well as the Tech World Tournament Goku that happened a little bit later in the month during Golden Week right here. Uh, we had the uh, free-to-play Tech Kid Goku in May. So if you don't know who I'm talking about, watch this. It's this free-to-play guy right here, right? New Goku. Um, and again, I'm counting all new releases. So, well, I'm, like, this also includes, like, new free-to-play releases as well, not just summonable characters. Um, so, yeah, January, February, March, April, May, June. Uh, LR Int Base Goku, just so I can show you. This is from the Turles movie right there. And then Super Saiyan 4 Goku later on in the month right there. So a lot of months with more than just one Goku, right? And then we have one month break and then August. But that month break, again, we're not counting easy A's. And we're not counting, you know, completely new... Or sorry, we're not counting um, easy A's or Awakenings. But I just want to show you that even in the months where there wasn't a new Goku, Goku was still being buffed. So let's just go to July. Let's just see what, what, what happened in July. In terms, let, let's look for a Goku. So yeah, one Goku Easy A and two Goku Easy A's. So two Goku Easy A's in the month of July. Again, I'm not counting that towards this. That's why he's... The, those two Gokus are not counted in the 60. But I'm just showing you that in the month where a new Goku wasn't released, other Gokus were still getting buffed. So... There was still some Goku action between January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and August, which had the um, LR AGL Blue Goku and Vegeta. So that was, of course, the worldwide celebration. If I can show it to you down here, right here. Um, and then we had three months, right, quote unquote, of nothing. So August, September, October, November. September, October, and November. So let's go ahead and, and show you September here. 
um, September, I don't think, had actually any Goku movement at all, right? It was just a bunch of hybrid Saiyans. Um, so we're definitely good there. I mean, technically Goku... Nah, Goku Black doesn't count, right? It's fine. Um, so September was the only month so far where Goku character did not get released or buffed or anything like that. October, I'm just going to have to say this now. Goku is literally in the art of, of 17 and 18. So that's kind of, you know, it's kind of, you know, but that's... And even if we don't include that, um, the Awakening for Goku... Again, this doesn't count towards the total number, just showing you that Goku's still getting buffed in some way, shape, or form. Um, so, we had the Goku in the art, even though it's not included in the name. So, I didn't really include this character, but, you know, it's still Goku's in the art. Goku Awakening here. Uh, Goku EZA here. And, I mean, it's Goku. Like I know it's Oolong, but come on now, right? Um, so, even though there was no new buff for Goku in October, um, there were still you know, Goku movement or Goku buffs happening. And then in November, was there any other Goku stuff in November? I think we're good, right? Because it was all, yeah, it was all just like essentially heroes. And then the end of the year, Dokkan Fest. So, you know, what, September and November? September and November are the only months in the entire year where not a single Goku character was buffed or released in some way, shape, or form, right? Again, I know Goku is, like, the heart of the game. It's the heart of Dragon Ball. But I, I think it would be great for the game and great for other categories if more focus was put on some other characters. There's so many categories in the game that it's... And you know what I would love to see, too? Legends had something, I think a few years ago, two years ago, last year, I forgot when it was. They had like a powerful opponents campaign where for like the next, like every release for what, two, three months was just extreme class characters. I think Dokkan would benefit greatly by doing that, really buffing up big bad bosses, really buffing up just extreme class teams overall, just dropping banger unit after banger unit and really powerful easy A's just to make the case of, you know, actually running because with so many gokus releasing one of them is bound to be the best student in the game you know and at some point it's like okay how many how uh, how many other characters are being you know hurt by n focusing so much on like 20 percent. that's 12 characters 20 percent. if that was 10 percent, then there's a great chance we could have seen a lot of you know, other characters shine. A lot of players really like certain characters in the game, but they're just not going to get any shine because we want to push the Goku agenda so much. And again, Goku taking up 20%. I feel like personally it's understandable, but I would just love if... May like, dude, if you, if you drop this... Let's say you drop the Goku every other month. A new Goku every other month made that character a banger right so that's gonna be six gokus in 12 months right and then the other months we don't have a goku being buffed at all you can dude you know how crazy this is like the first hyrudagon we're getting right like the for the super saiyan 3 goku and hyrudagon i think i mean space like first standalone hyrudagon right to me that's really exciting what if we got, I don't know, LR Kid Boo in a month? Which, again, I guess you can still drop that with a Goku as well. But without dropping Gokus, you can really focus on a bunch of other villains and a bunch of other characters that need representation and that need, or that would be great to have top tier. Like, like I would love to run a top tier OP Broken TN. I think that would be really, really sick. I would love to run, you know, um, the best unit in the game, Vegeta, which rarely ever happens, right? Um, I don't know, man. I just, I, I just think it'd be cool because remember when Goku drops, Goku's buffing a very certain amount of uh, categories, which of course those categories change depending on the exact team that Goku would be on. So, for example, let's look at the month of just October really quick, right? Let's take a look at, you know, this Goku EZA here. So Goku's very popular easy uh, category, sorry. Are of course pure Saiyans, right? Goku's family, Kamehameha, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, Bond. Like these are all very popular categories. So these are getting buffed literally every single month. Every single month, these categories are being buffed. 
instead let me, let's just take a look at all the categories in the game how do i I'm, let's see categories look at all of these categories here instead of buffing the same four or five categories every month what if one month was dedicated to movie bosses one was dedicated to like namekians and dude like who would complain about the best unit in the game piccolo and we had that right we had that for tech piccolo so it's just a great example of things that they can just continue pushing right same thing with androids um movie heroes i mean when you when, when you think of movie heroes it's just goku right because goku's in every movie just finishing the villain every single time so i guess it's hard to buff movie heroes without doing like a fusions or goku so that's i know understandable but vegeta's family dude like you know how i think 2024 there's a great opportunity for vegeta fans to eat because there's so many vegetas we need in the game you just imagine the vegeta that you know went super saiyan against 19 we technically, I guess, have that moment with the with the free to place pure Saiyans lead into Vegeta, but I feel like you know an updated twenty twenty four double contrast would be nice. A God of Vegeta during the Broly movie. There's just a lot of options, right? A lot of options. Um, let's see what else here. Terrifying Conquerors can get buffed. Target Goku, which I guess a lot of those categories do overlap, so understandable. I just want to see more villains. I just want to see more variety and i want to see a lot of other characters that exist in dragon ball just get that respect they deserve because dokkan has proven when they drop a character that has a lot of help and even if it's not the most hype character of all time they could still hit top grossing especially if that all they gotta do is just make the character good and it's, it's really not that hard so um let me know what you think hopefully you enjoy let me know if that 20 percent is too much for you and i'll see you in the next one take care and peace